Hi guys, welcome back to Coding World. Today in this video, we are going to see one more cloud component, which is a Eureka naming server. So in Eureka naming server, we are going to create a simple project, mini project. And in that mini project, we will be having a three microservices. One will be with a Spring Fin client and a Spring Cloud load balancer. And there is second service will be a micro simple microservice which will be returning a list of books and those we are consuming into our fin client microservice and in that between we are having a name Eureka naming server and to Eureka naming server we are registering all our microservice instances and through all the communication from the fin client to the microservice will be happen through Eureka naming server. So in this, I am going to show you us all the POM dependencies and all the annotation I have used and we will show with a, this is a simple demo. In this small video, we are going to see Spring Cloud Fin, Eureka Naming Server and Cloud Load Balancing. So stick to the video and let's get started. So before starting to the Eureka Naming Server, I want to tell the different benefits of the Eureka Naming Server. One is like in Eureka Naming Server, we register our application. So in Eureka Naming Server have multiple benefits like it is a centralized collection of all, all your microservices. So all your microservices will be registered to the Eureka Naming Server. So if we want to connect with the other microservice instead of using their IP, which is going to change when you've installed from one node to another node. So before Eureka Naming Server, we was using a fin client. So fin client, what in fin client, we was add, adding the list of our IP address where our microservice has been deployed, which we are going to consume. But if you see that there is a, there is multiple problems with that approach. If we install another instances of your microservice, we have to register that IP address in your fin client by editing the application.yml file, application.property file and then building that project and rerunning that or deploying that project. So there was changing at a two side, two side in your microservice also and in your fin client also. So to resolve that issue, Spring Cloud has bring a Eureka naming server. In Eureka naming server, fin client has to register itself with the Eureka naming server and the microservices also have to register with the Eureka naming server. So when the instances of microservices get increased, those many instances will be registered on your Eureka naming server. And your fin client will be choose one of those for your load balancing when we are consuming microservice. So in this case, we are not using any IP address, nothing else, just simple a name of your microservice and the Spring Cloud load balancer will take the rest of things like uh, out of two or three your instances whom to send the whom to send the request okay so we are going to see that step by step first i am i am going to show you a simple microservice book service which i am consuming into my student service so where where we are using a fin client now now this is a microservice where i have a book entity and that is id name and book cost then there is a one class which is a response with a port in that I am having a data and the port. So we need to know that from which port this response is coming or from which service it's, this response is coming. For that purpose, we are using a port. Then I have a controller. In controller, I have two methods only. One is a all, which is a returning list of books. And then second is all book, which is returning a response with the port. And this, this is a simple microservice. If you see, only three classes and your microservice application where I have added the enable discovery client. So this annotation helps you to add your service into your economic server and when you are connecting to the other applications for that purpose also we are using enable discovery client. Okay. This is a simple book service. Now I will show you another consumer microservice. So this is a Spring Fin. So in Spring Fin client, I am using a, I am consuming the book service. So for that purpose, I will show you, there are five classes in this microservice. 
all code I am putting into my GitHub repository and sharing that link with you in our video description. So first is a book. In book, this class is copied from our microservice, so all the fields are same. Second is a my configuration. So my configuration in my configuration, I am using a load balance, load balancer. So this is annotation from the, our Spring Cloud load balancer. So this is used for your load balancing purpose. So instead of Ribbon or other Spring, uh, other framework for which we use for a client side, client side load balancing. Instead of that, we can use a Spring Cloud load balancer which with a simple annotation is a load balance and rest thing is we can taken care by the Spring Cloud load balancer. This is a simple class which is returning a bean of the rest template with a load balancer. Second is a response with a port. This class is again copied from my microservice and the book consumer. This is a consuming class where we are using consuming the rest APIs with a simple fin client and where we have to give a book service which is a service name if you see in a previous without a eureka naming server we was giving here urls okay list of urls and from that urls it was pinging to the pinging to that server and this is a two methods which are from my controller book controller which is a gate uh, gate mapping gate all and gate book all okay so this is it for the consuming and then in application we have to uh, add the enable discovery client which is a uh, as i explained to register as i explained it is used to register our services with a eureka naming server and if you want to access any other microservice also in that case also it is used and this is a enable fin client so this regarding this annotation i have already explained in our previous video where we have shown how to consume microservices using a fin client and this is a student consumer student controller where i am using a book service slash book and all book this api i am using from the our book api okay and this rest template will take care take care of the take care load balancing work i am not using fin client here in this moment but in future i will use that okay now in property, I have added server name, server port, server, uh, application name and here I am have added the Eureka client. Okay. So with this and import check enable false and server dot ribbon dot Eureka enable true. Okay. This is uh, Eureka is internally using a ribbon for their load balancing purpose. Okay. Now two services one is a, our consumer one is a producer has been explained now we will go to the our eureka naming server so this is a simple this is a simple eureka naming naming service and which has only one class uh, which is annotated with a enable eureka server and in if you see application.property file it is running on 8087861 and this is the main flag which is telling that register Eureka naming server with suggest Eureka naming server itself. So for that purpose, I have made it as a false. And in pom.xml, I have a Spring Cloud config Eureka naming server also. These two major dependencies and other is regarding to the dev tools and test and the Spring Cloud version. So if you can able to see this all pom from my your github repository which is up where i have uploaded this okay now let's run this uh, run this application and check your your communication from consumer to producer is happening successfully or not okay so first of all you have to run your naming server and then your other two services which will be registered to, to the eureka naming server let me run this yes server has been successfully started on 8761 now let's run our consumer and producer microservice so this is my consumer this is my producer microservice where i have given as a server port at 8000 so i am going to run a two instances of this microservice so first of all i will run with a 
Java hyphen hyphen jar and our microservice zero 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 jar. Okay. Okay. So one instance of microservice has been started on eight zero zero, and it's also registered with a uh, container service as a book. Okay. Now let me change this. Eight zero one, and let me build my application. Okay, so now I will move to target, and from target, Java hyphen jar microservice instance. So. This way we are going to run our second instance of microservice, okay? And it has been successfully started on at zero zero. So now we will see that all these two instances getting registered with the Eureka. Let's open Eureka naming server UI and see there. Okay, this is a Eureka naming server UI where you are able to see the book service with the two instances. Okay, now let's run our consumer microservice and see the load balancing is happening or not. Okay, so our second application has been started and let's see it gets registered with the Eureka naming server or not. Let's refresh. Okay, student service, book service, both have registered with the Eureka naming server. So let's call the student student all book okay so we are getting response from our 8080 8000 port which is our microservice if you refresh this it will get from 8081 so load balancing happening is round drop in round drop in order and i have connected to the vpn also so in my case fine but if you are not VPN, then you might be getting a no host error. In that case, you have to uh, look into your DNS setting where your server name uh, or IP address has been configured or not. So for that purpose, there is one uh, post on Spring, sorry, Stack Overflow. And there you, they have mentioned in DMHZ and DNS. So please, uh, I will uh, give this link into our video video description also so in in case if you get a no host error please go through that so this way we have currently i have not added the fin client because next video i will going to upload when we reach the more than 50 likes for this video and we are going to include the fin client in that next video tutorial so now we have seen we have configured our consumer and producer microservice to the Eureka naming server and using a Spring Cloud Load Balancer, we are connecting to the, our producer microservice. So this was a small mini projects where we have seen this component. So guys, that's it for this video. Please, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.